No. Cool. Um, I'm going to talk to you about two of my favourite things, uh, food and science, for fairly obvious reasons. Now, I'm going to talk to you about mayonnaise. So, you know mayonnaise is made with oil and water. Well, it's not technically water, it's vinegar or lemon juice. But we know these things don't normally mix, and the key ingredient in mayonnaise is eggs. So there must be something in eggs that allows us to mix oil and water, and there is this molecule called lecithin. So the molecule lecithin is a very interesting molecule. It's got two parts to it. There's a head group, so it's a head, and it's got a long tail at the end. Now, this head is attracted to water, so that's fine. We have a water-loving end, hydrophilic. And we have a long tail at the other end that's attracted to fats, oils. It's lipid-loving. It's, it's hydrophobic. It doesn't like water. So it's obviously, you know, quite directional. Now, when you're making mayonnaise, have you ever made mayonnaise at home? It's messy, like, you know, you've, you've mixed your water, you've mixed your egg yolk, you're beating in the oil, you're beating and beating and beating, beating, and then suddenly mayonnaise starts to happen. It's, it's magical. Try it out sometime. <laughs> um, but what's happening is that you're forming really, really tiny oil droplets, and these tiny, tiny oil droplets are getting coated by the lecithin. There's loads of lecithin in egg yolk. It's about 10% of an egg yolk. And so, as you can imagine, the tails will be embedding within these oil droplets, and these little heads will be facing out to the water, thereby shielding the oil from the water and allowing it to kind of float there in suspension. Now, some of you are sitting there kind of going, I know the word lecithin. Where do I know it from? Well, you've read the back of a bar of chocolate. So you're kind of going, oh, she's gone from mayonnaise into chocolate, lads. But if you look at the back of a bar of chocolate, it says soya lecithin. Now, if you consider what chocolate is made from, it's made from sugar and cocoa, which are things that usually dissolve really well in water. It's made from cocoa butter, which is something that does not dissolve really well in water. It's an oil. And lecithin allows you to mix these two things together. So that's okay. Where are we going with this? Well, we're going back to mayonnaise. So my hero, Hervé Thie, if you've never heard him, look him up. He is the father of molecular gastronomy. Heston Blumenthal is nothing in comparison to this man. And he said, right, we have something that contains fats and emulsifiers, lecithin, and why can't we add water to it? Because normally, if any of you have ever melted chocolate at home, you find if there's any bit of water gets into it, it seizes, it goes all lumpy and it's hard and you can't spread it and it doesn't look very good, but you'll still eat it. <laughs> when, but you can actually, Mix water and chocolate, right? So this, this is going to sound counterintuitive, and I encourage you to go home and look up the exact volumes and do it. You melt water and chocolate, and that's fine. And you're kind of sitting there going, okay, so I have really wet chocolate. You can use orange juice if you want to be really fancy. And then you cool it down and you beat it. And as you beat it, you're mixing the lecithin around and you're forming smaller and smaller cocoa droplets, or cocoa butter droplets. And actually, as time goes, it's like when you make mayonnaise, you start out with something really runny and suddenly you have sauce. And it's, it, it really does work like that. So I really do encourage you to go home into your kitchens and experiment and make chocolate mayonnaise. <laughs> Science. Very good, Trina.